Ever since I saw my first 10 AMOLED screen last year, I couldn't wait for the technology to come to monitors. Well now, ASUS sponsored this video so we can take a, well, super early look at their new XG27AQ ah, WMG, or as I like to call it, Albuquerque's weapon of mass gaming. Don't use that joke, it's not that funny. But this, what the f I was expecting it to be packaged very differently, but no, it's, I took that top foam off. <laughs> it's just kind of right there. Um, so that's a first for me and I'm gonna kind of just pull it out, I guess. Oh, it's unboxed. That was really fast. Uh, it's already also put together. I didn't even get a chance to tell you guys about the cool stand that is now 30% more compact than the previous XG gaming monitors. Okay, this fell out of the box. And then what else have we got? Our HDMI 2.1 cable, display port 1.4 and USB-B. I know next to nothing about this panel. There, there's no <laughs> anything on the box. Um, I was hoping for like an interior box with some kind of spec. All I know is this guy is 26 and a half inches. It does 280 Hertz refresh rate. It's fourth gen low LED. So it's got, instead of, um, I think they were doing a blue and then red, green layer and then blue layer. Now it's going blue, green, blue, red. Either way, they've taken that red, green layer in the middle and split it up into two. And so now there's like two double stacks, four total for tandem OLED. Uh, and it's supposed to be I mean, I've seen it kind of firsthand in other panels, but it's supposed to be uh, way brighter in both peak brightness and full screen, as well as about up to 25% wider color volume in BT 2020. Now, unfortunately, our colorimeter is out being calibrated right now, so the lab didn't test this guy. So I'm going off of the zero specs and uh, the monitor. So we're gonna take a look at it and try to game on it and see what it looks like in person. But first, I want to look pop off the stand, take a look at it, and show you guys the I.O. Wow, this really is a lot smaller of a footprint, hey? That's really tiny. Otherwise, it's still your pretty column into base st bog standard design with a screw that you turn on the bottom here. This is probably a bolt, not a screw, but you know, who really cares? Engineers, they're the ones who care. We'll put it on the stand in a sec because I want to show you guys the beautiful I.O. We've got a couple of HDMI 2.1 ports, DisplayPort 1.4, so I'm guessing this is 1440p, but you know, it will reveal its secrets to me momentarily. Headphone jack, Kensington lock, USB hub over here, and a power connector. But there's one more cool little trick that ASUS has actually had uh, in their monitor division for at least a couple of years now. You get this handy little tripod uh, socket at the top here. So it's really easy to mount like a ring light or a camera, or I guess both together, whatever you want to do. As for what the stand is capable of, we've got the classic swivel all on the column there, bunch of tilt, and my favorite, it can pivot both ways, I believe. Very nice. And for those of you looking for a glossy option, well, this guy should do it with their new true black glossy finish. That should really make everything just kind of pop. Um, Matt's okay, anti-glare, anti-reflection. It's great for some people. I live in a cave. I make my computers out of scraps and I just want the darkest room possible. So give me gloss, baby. All right, let's, uh, let's turn it on. I've got to say, it's turned on. I'm just looking at our pretty wallpaper and it looks pretty incredible. Um, having that tandem OLED means that it's also able to hit VESA True Black 500 uh, because of the extra sustained brightness. And I've been waiting for a monitor that can do like 500, 600 um, because they can get those peaks like high. They can do the peaks no problem, but it's getting that full screen sustained. And it's kind of the one thing that you're giving up when you go from mini LED to OLED is like crazy high sustained brightness. And now we're not, you know, mini LED levels, but it should be a lot better. And I can confirm that we're looking at a 1440p monitor. I'll get to the pricing and the release date a little later, but that's not bad. 27 inches is kind of the sweet spot for 1440p. 
we absolutely do not want to be gated uh, at 60 hertz. So let's go all the way up to 280. And on top of that 280 hertz refresh rate, because it's OLED, we're getting that 0.03 millisecond gray to gray response times, which is just lightning fast, crazy good. All right, let's check out some HDR footage though, because what I'm most interested in is seeing that enhanced gamut coverage of BT 2020. I gotta say, this looks quite stunning. One of the very few downsides of third gen OLED panels was a lack of range when it comes to BT 2020. Um, this should get this up there, like maybe 80%. 85%? I don't know. We haven't tested it and ASUS hasn't made any claims. They've just said it's going to be uh, wider than it was before. But this looks fantastic and I've got to say I'm quite impressed. Sorry, I had to take my jacket off. I was getting a little too hot and bothered looking at how good this display looks. They're going to have this panel in TVs as well. Um, and they're not using their MLA plus or micro lens array plus technology anymore to hit these levels of brightness. Um, it was pretty good, but it did have its own bit of downsides. And so I'm happy to say that uh, it's no longer necessary. Now we're getting more color gamut, more brightness with basically zero trade off. They've also adjusted the subpixel layout now, so it's reordered back to be more traditional RGB. We're getting RGWB in the subpixel, so that's great uh, for any of you purists out there who didn't like how it was laid out before. Um, but now I want to game on it because 280 hertz with really great brightness values and HDR and OLED, and it's just, I got a game on this thing. So give us one moment as we switch to 60 FPS while I update Steam. Look at how good this fire looks. It's super bright and it looks nice and orangey yellow. I am already impressed. Um, wow, I, <laughs> it's such a minor thing, um, but man, that looks good. And okay, let's play, let's play some Counter-Strike. I've got to say, uh, the clarity, you whip and it's instant. This thing looks great though. I, man. Oh, I thought for sure I got him up ahead. Okay, whatever. One, two, three, come on. Oh, okay, well he's dead. All right, well, look. A new fancy OLED gaming monitor running at 280 Hertz with amazing contrast and image clarity. It's not gonna make you a better gamer, but it's gonna make it so that if you do lose, you're not gonna be able to blame anything but yourself. Because at this point, like man, 280 Hertz is just becoming the bog standard now. It's like the new 165 or 144. Let's try another game that's a bit more visually appealing than Counter-Strike. So I can kind of show you guys what some good HDR is gonna look like. We're gonna play some Doom Eternal because Dark Ages is, uh, well, it's not perfect. Eternal, it'll always be perfect in my heart. Um, and I gotta say, just out of the box. God, this looks amazing. It feels so good. Just like good old Chuck Mangione. Like it's just so instant too. Like 280 Hertz is more than fast enough. Um, and the fact that it's got that, I know I've said it before, but that near instant OLED pixel response time, um, this game just looks absolutely stunning in motion. And the HDR on it looks incredible too. Like even just looking at the fire, in this little room here. It looks so good, those oranges and reds. Oh, let's talk about the price because, you know, it's not as expensive as you might think. It's not gonna be free either though, but at 699 for a 27 inch, 1440p, 280 hertz gaming monster, I think you're actually getting a pretty solid deal. And it's an even better price when you consider that it's with a brand new uh, generation of panel technology that I'm actually really excited about. Asus is claiming that this is gonna give them an extra 60% lifetime in terms of like panel longevity. And I can absolutely not speak to that, uh, who knows, but it's a pretty bold claim, um, especially when OLEDs were already starting to last for years and years to the point where a lot of manufacturers are coming with, you know, two or three year warranties on these things. And I've just got to say that it looks absolutely stunning. And if you are worried about 
uh, running your panel into the ground accidentally because you know you get up and you walk away all of a sudden you know it just stays on a static image and starts to actually burn things in. Uh, Asus has got that super cool proximity sensor where you just walk away a little bit and the screen goes black for you. So you don't have to worry about forgetting. And to enable all that stuff, you just go to OLED care, screensaver, is it screensaver or is it something? Oh, proxim Neo proximity sensor, distance selection. Let's set that to like, sure, 120 centimeters, why not? I'm gonna walk away and it's gonna turn off. It might take a minute. I think it takes like a good solid minute or two or whatever, but it will turn off. Editor, do the fast forward time-lapse thing. And it turns right back on. Thanks again to ASUS for sponsoring this unboxing of the XG27 AQWMG. Hey, I got that on my first try. Uh, I'm Ploof, this is Short Circuit, and if you want to look at other monitor videos, there's a lot of them. Maybe I'll have one linked here, or maybe it'll be there, or maybe there, or there. I don't know. See you later.